All right, guys, come on along for another train ride. This one is for Dave and David. Dave from Ghetto Van Adventures and David from Desmond Donders. Check them guys out. Dave asked, said, "Can you get to the close? Can you get close to the uh, train wheels?" <laughs> well, Dave, let me give it a crack here for you. Anyways, I thought I'd show you what I see in my goggles as opposed to what the final video is. So in the goggles, this is what we have, guys. There's this H flying around the edge of the screen. That's telling me where the home point is. And uh, so that's telling me the home point is sort of behind me, beside me, behind, whatever. Down on the very bottom, we have an N for normal mode. Then we have next to that an H for I'm 14 meters, third bobbing up and down height. Above that is how, how many meters per second up or down I'm moving. To the right of that is a D with a number of uh, meters in it. I'm a distance away from myself. Above that is my speed, how many meters per second I'm moving. Then there's an amber number there that goes away. That's how, how far above ground level I am. It only comes on when you're like 10 meters above. Way across to the right is uh, a picture of a battery with 54 and a 54 uh, uh, battery left in the uh, drone. Then there's a number next to that which is for head tracking. I'm not quite too sure what that number is. If anybody knows, let me know. Then we have the connection with the headset and the uh, controller, uh, the bars, and then we have 50 megabyte, megabits per second satellites, 17, 61% in the headset. And then we have one point uh, minutes of recorded time. In the center, you'll see a, squ a, tr a square or a, a crosshair and a circle. The circle is where I am headed. So when I point that circle with the motion controller, that's where I'm going to go. So that's the screen explained. Let's get on and see why the horizon is not steady. Okay, guys. So now what we're seeing here is uh, the footage that's coming from the drone. And I've got something set on there called Horizon Steady. There is Rock Steady also. Horizon Steady keeps the horizon uh, solid. So as you can see, we have better uh, horizon capability. And when I'm still moving back and forth, uh, I can see that in the goggles. So let's come down and uh, head under the bridge and under the train. And like I said, this one is for uh, Dave and David from uh, Ghetto Van Adventure and uh, Desmond Daughters. Go and check them guys out. So you can see even with the turning here, the horizon is, is rock steady. bridge underneath the train and you can see I'm parked there now, I was going to head down the road here a little bit but I heard another uh, engine so I thought I'd have a look at it see if there's anybody in it so let's go up and have a look at this train engine here guys awesome shot this is where the head tracking I'm flying sideways I'm looking at the train, trying to, <laughs> trying to avoid all the objects too. Right all right, I have my drone set up to head home when I've got like 30% battery, so I've got 30 some 35%, so I better bring it in. I don't want you don't run the batteries down too far. Thanks for coming out, guys and catch you all on the next one. Stay tuned.